Hola amigas! This video will demonstrate the procedure for normal delivery and unanyaka. Before the procedure, make sure to perform the following. Vaginal delivery is heralded as the perineum begins to distend, the overlying skin becomes stretched, and the fetal scalp is seen through the separating labia. Start by positioning the mother in dorsal lithotomy. Prepare for delivery by cleansing the perineal and vulvar area with antiseptic solution. Sterile drapes may be placed in such a way that only the immediate area around the vulva is exposed. When the head distends the vulva and perineum, place a gloved hand to support the perineum while the other hand is used to guide and control the fetal head. If expulsive efforts are not enough, a modified friction maneuver may be performed. Following delivery of the head, Pass a finger across the fetal neck to check for umbilical cord loops. The fetal head falls posteriorly, then the occiput turns toward one of the maternal thighs, and the head assumes a transverse position. Grasp the side of the head with two hands, and gentle downward traction is applied until the anterior shoulder appears, followed by an upward motion to deliver the posterior shoulder. The rest of the body follows. Call out the time that the newborn is delivered. Delivery of the newborn is followed by appropriately timed interventions following the essential intrapartum and newborn care practices which include the following. Immediately and thoroughly dry the newborn to prevent hypothermia within the first 30 seconds by using a dry, clean cloth. Also do a quick check of the newborn's breathing while drying. After thorough drying, facilitate bonding between the mother and the newborn through skin-to-skin -skin contact by placing the newborn prone on the mother's abdomen or chest. Cover the newborn's back with a blanket and the head with a bonnet. Next is proper cord clamping and cutting. Remove the first set of gloves immediately prior to cord clamping and clamp and cut the cord after the cord pulsations have stopped. Cut between the two clamps placed 6 to 8 cm from the fetal abdomen and 2 to 3 cm from the umbilical base. After cutting the cord, ensure that oxytocin is given to the mother to prevent uterine atony. Leave the newborn on the mother's chest to facilitate early initiation of breastfeeding. Advise the mother to start feeding once the following feeding cues are observed. Check the uterine fundal size and consistency. Observe for signs of placental separation. Ensure the uterus is contracted and exert pressure on the fundus to propel the detached placenta into the vagina, while the heel of the hand exerts downward pressure between the symphysis pubis and the uterine fundus. Keep the umbilical cord slightly taut but is not pulled to prevent uterine inversion. Once the placenta passes through, the pressure on the uterus is relieved and the placenta is gently lifted away to prevent placental membranes from tearing. Inspect perineum for lacerations and repair accordingly. 